Joyce Malecki vanished in November of 1969. Her body was found two days later in a stream on Fort Meade, stabbed and strangled. The death came just days after Sister Kathy disappeared. Her body was found months later near a landfill. An autopsy determined Sister Kathy had died from a blow to her head. Now, many have long believed that both cases were somehow connected, and now it looks like there might be a new twist in this investigation. The two women both went missing after going on shopping trips. Both were found in wooded areas, and both had connections to Father Joseph Maskell. Uh, Malecki had attended Mass with Maskell, and Sister Kathy taught at Archbishop uh, Co. High School, where several former students came forward saying Father Maskell had abused them. Some students say uh, they had confided to Sister Kathy about the abuse, and she was about to blow the whistle on, on Father Maskell right before uh, she was actually killed. Now, an explosive report by the Maryland Attorney General's Office released earlier this year detailed Father Maskell's years of abuse and how he helped other priests do the same. Father Maskell's name is seen 200 times in the 456-page report. It even mentioned a possible link between Father Maskell and Sister Kathy's murder, but it did not offer any new details. Father Maskell died in 2001. His body was also exhumed back in 2017 by Baltimore police investigating Sister Kathy's death, uh, but there was no evidence tying him to the crime scene. A lot of moving pieces, an old case that's still moving forward. Uh, joining me now is Je uh, Gemma Hoskins, who was featured in the Netflix uh, documentary and has dedicated really her life to investigating Sister Catherine uh, Sesnick's murder. Thank you so much for being with you, me, Gemma. I, I uh, found the, the documentary, the, the four-part series, so eye-opening. Uh, your part in it um, was was incredible. Um, and I, in a way, kind of forgotten about it. And now to get this news um, that they are actually going to be exhuming the body of Joyce Malecki, um, that must have been really something for you to learn. Well, thanks. first of all, Brian, thanks for the opportunity. Uh, the Maleckis are like family to me. And we actually knew this was coming. Um, the Maleckis have given me permission to share with you that the FBI came to them. They did not ask for this exhumation. And what they have been asking for for the last 54 years is to find out from the FBI what happened to Joyce. And they've been stonewalled at every turn. So within the last three years, a team of us have all worked together with them and with our Democratic State Senator Chris Van Hollen to try and get the case files. Now, as you mentioned, the Attorney General's report on clergy abuse was finished in November, and it was right around that time that the FBI made the overture to the Maleckis not to ask their permission to exhume Joyce, but to notify them that they would be doing that. So we knew it was coming. The paperwork, of course, takes a long time, mm. but we're, we have mixed emotions about why, why now, and what do they expect to find? That's really interesting what you say, Gemma, because in other cases I've covered where families are pushing for more information or pushing for justice in an unsolved case, oftentimes they're begging for an exhumation and they're really the, the reason that right. it happens, or they may hire an outside company to come in and assist, and it's very driven by the family. But what you just said is that the FBI came in and said that this was sort of their thing, and in a way, a surprise initially. That's correct. And it was the same agent that we've all had trouble finding. Um, an agent, a F local FBI agent, was assigned to the Malecki case, and they had no luck calling him, emailing. Um, he finally responded, but now he's the one that's made the overture. So, um, I, and you mentioned Father Maskell's exhumation. You all have to remember that a DNA profile, that's fireworks outside my home at the beach. Yeah, I wondered I'm what so that worried. was. I heard something. I didn't know if it was a dog or what. We're safe. We okay. are safe. Okay, I'll good. just talk louder. I'm really sorry. No, it's okay. Um, the exhumation for Maskell was to get a DNA profile of him to see, you know, that if it could be compared to other DNA. With Joyce, she was not buried in the clothes she was found in. The, the uh, family doesn't need a DNA profile because they have her belongings. 
What the FBI is looking for is probably other people's DNA on Joyce. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.